Long ago, in a time of ancient, timeless time, when mystical warriors roamed the land, the most awesome kung fu fighters in all of China, the Furious Five, protected the Valley of Peace. But soon would appear a fighter of such extreme skill and legendary bodacity that even the Furious Five would bow in respect to this amazing hero, the Dragon Warrior. To tell that story, we must go back, back to the beginning, when the Dragon Warrior was just a dream. Okay, he was just totally dreaming. Legend tells of a legendary warrior whose kung fu skills were the stuff of legend. He traveled the land in search of worthy foes. The warrior smelled fear in the air, but he knew it wasn't coming from him because he was totally confident. Oh, greatest kung fu master in the entire universe and beyond! Save me! Hey, get back here, rabbit! We're not done with you yet! You better stand back, little guy. Once I unleash my total awesomeness, even I cannot be held responsible for what happened. Great work, son! Who knew you would be such a kung fu master? Clearly, the warrior's dad had underestimated him. Perhaps then, you are ready for this? Not even the toughest of enemies were a match for his sheer bodacity. Well, well, who do we have here? I am the Dragon Warrior. Now step aside, bad guy. The warrior's reputation for being the best of the best, of the best, of the best, followed him wherever he went. I see you like to chew! Perhaps you like to chew on my fist! Enough talk. Let's fight! Your kung fu is weak! Quick, get him! Shashabui! Even when faced with the legendary Sword of Heroes, the warrior didn't flinch, because he was that much of a master. The master's reflection in the Sword of Heroes looked especially brave today. It's him! Not him! Yes, him! Oh no! Oh yes! Oh, shut up! Let's go! I am Kai Lung, and you are no master! <laughs> hey, what? Son, quit daydreaming. I got four orders for my famous secret ingredient soup and only two hands. Come on. Okay, Dad. And I was just getting to the good part. Okay, so even though the warrior dreamed of being a kung fu master, he knew he had a little work to do. I mean... He had some moves, but he wasn't exactly, you know, a kung fu legend yet. Unfortunately, his dad wanted him to be more like the master of noodles. Still, the warrior totally legendary, like the greatest of kung fu heroes, the Furious Five. Who, it turned out, were about to compete in the ultimate tournament of kung fu explosiveness to see which of them would be named the Dragon Warrior. Oh yeah. The warrior knew he had to see the five in action, and nothing was going to stand in his way. Okay, well, almost nothing. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Huh? Oh no! No, no, no! Wait! Stop! Don't close the doors. Ah! Wait! It's a five! Yeah! Oh, so freaking awesome! Wait! Oh no! Oh no! I 
don't know what we would have done if you hadn't shown up. You can use this ballista here to blast open those bags of confetti and clear a path into the arena. Oh, sweet! Thanks, little guys! Yeah, that's using the old noodle. I am Tigress, master of the Tiger Style. I am ready to fight! I love Kong! I sense the dragon warrior is among us. Citizens of the Valley of Peace, Master Ugwe will now choose the dragon warrior. Sorry, I just wanted to see who the Dragon Warrior is. Uh, Master, are you pointing at me? Him? Who? You. The universe has brought us the Dragon Warrior. <laughs> me? Okay, so this is where the legend of the Dragon Warrior really takes off. See, Master Uwe was sure the universe had brought them the Chosen One. But Master Shifu was kind of a tough sell. He didn't really think the warrior was who he was supposed to be. He thought maybe it was all kind of an accident. So did the Five. Actually, even the hero was a little surprised. But when the warrior finally saw the Furious Five in action, oh yeah! He totally knew he was in the right place. Focus. You will begin here, with these combat dummies. Oh, okay. I just ate. I'm still digesting, so my kung fu might not be as good as later on. Just hit it. After you eliminate each dummy, I will light a torch. When all of the torches are lit, I will give a signal and the door will open to the next area. Understand? Totally. So you think you're the Dragon Warrior? Uh... uh. <laughs> Listen, I will say nothing against Master Ugwe, and I don't know how you managed to get this far, but let me put it this way. I think my record is safe. Well, look who made it. Not bad for a panda, I mean. Thanks, Master Monkey. Wow, I just thank Master Monkey. But that last room was a mere warm-up for this one. I'd like to see you break my record. Looking for me, Poe? Master v Viper! Wow! You even know my name! Of course I do. But I'm afraid your good fortune is about to run out. This is my room, and my record. Both are unbeatable. Oh. I must say, I'm surprised to see you. That wasn't so bad. You know, I've seen worse. Yeah, all the time. I just use my fancy kung fu moves is all. Do not be fooled, Panda. You still have a long way to go if you are indeed the Dragon Warrior, as Master Ukwe believes. Okay. 
So, how much time do you think this is gonna take? A long, long, long time. Oh. As the hero trained, his legend spread across the land, even reaching the dark depths of Chorgom Prison, where Tai Lung waited. When Tai Lung heard that someone else would be granted the Dragon Scroll, he burned with rage! He knew it was time to escape and claim what was rightfully his. But first, he'd send Shifu a message. As Zhang, the palace goose, flew home to tell Master Shifu of Tai Lung's escape, a dark storm gathered. Soon Tai Lung would return, and when he did, it would determine the fate of the Valley of Peace. So hungry right now. We haven't robbed anyone in days. Ooh, looks like our luck is about to change. <laughs> oh my goodness! Help! Hey Zhang, you okay? They just... they just winged me. I have news for Master Shifu. Must... must get to the palace. Okay, take it easy. I've got you. Next stop, the Jade Palace. Master... Shifu... I have news. Tylung is free! He escaped from Shorgum Prison. He's coming here, here to get the Dragon Scroll. He will take Tylung some time to get here. We must see to the village at once. Okay, guys, uh, sounds great. Let me just grab a snack so I can, uh, build up my, uh, chi. Okay, I guess I'll just talk to you guys when you get back. Ah! Uh, intruder! Oh, intruder! Oh, more! 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 You've got to stop him! Oops! Uh-oh. Aha! Panda? How dare you challenge the Black Hoof Boar Clan! What happened here? I see. You did well, Panda. I did? I mean, yeah, I did. Cause you know, I used my super panda bamboo awesomeness and yeah, I was only pretending to be asleep. And you know, these guys came in and I went, watch out! Focus! I need you to focus. While we were in the village, we heard that the Croc Gang has invaded Lotus Lake. Word is starting to spread about Tai Lung. We've got to do something. Master Crane, why don't you and Poe go see what you can find out? Whoa! Me and Master Crane? Oh, woohoo! Oh, it'll be fun. Let me get my stuff! Me and Crane are going on a mission! Woo! With the Jade Palace safe and the Black Hoof Boar clan defeated, the Dragon Warrior, there, I said it, was feeling pretty good. Maybe now Master Shifu would start to see his awesomeness. Nope, Master Shifu totally stiffed him. He was worried about other stuff, like the Imperial Golden Croc Gang. But Master Shifu didn't know yet that the Crocs invaded Lotus Lake for a reason. See, they knew the legend of Tai Lung. Now that he was out, it was time to get on his good side. And so, the Dragon Warrior and Master Crane, who were about to step into totally insane danger, started out on the trail towards Lotus Lake. <laughs> 